As a fashion enthusiast, someone who loves putting together outfits, and just a guy who wants to always look and feel my best, curating the perfect outfit combination is a skill that, with trial and error and over time, I feel like I have perfected. In today's video, I want to share with you guys four of my go-to outfit recipes that work for me every single time. There will be a nice mix of everything for everyone, casual looks, more dressy bits, colder weather focused outfits, as well as some examples for the warmer seasons. Sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy today's video. Thank you to Urban Revival for sponsoring today's video and supporting my channel. You guys will see me style some of my favorites from them with some other pieces I have in my wardrobe. They truly have everything that you possibly need from coats, shirts, knits, trousers, shorts, and so much more. Urban Revival drops new stuff weekly, and I must say I am thoroughly impressed by the quality of these pieces that you guys are going to see in today's video. Whether you want something a bit more trendy, classic options, bolder prints, and or elevated silhouettes, Urban Revival has you covered. I will have everything linked down below for you guys and thank you once again to Urban Revival for partnering with me in today's video. Now let's dive into these outfit examples slash styling options. Outfit recipe number one consists of a really nice coat, a hoodie, workwear pants, boots, a nice fisherman beanie, as well as a larger style bag. This outfit right here is my go-to for pretty much anything fall winter related. This outfit right here is perfect for the colder seasons. I love the juxtaposition of a more dressier coat such as this one from Urban Revival paired with all of the other toned down more casual elements within my outfit. This coat right here is perfect. I love the length. The quality is amazing. Using the fit is really nice on me personally and I just feel like the black color is a really great classic option. I paired this coat with a really nice classic heavyweight hoodie underneath with more of a lighter color to kind of brighten up the overall look and then in terms of the workwear pants I like kind of having a really nice stack on the bottom to get that visual interest going and again really have that contrast with the dressiness from the coat. Finishing pieces will be these chunky style boots as well as a really nice fisherman beanie. I love a fisherman and beanie for the fall and winter season and then in terms of the bag i love using a bag or any sort of accessory as a nice little pop of color and a nice little moment for just that and so you guys are seeing me style this more larger bag i love how the kind of tone of my overall outfit is a little bit more simple and then kind of finishing off with that larger style bag and that really nice muted green color just kind of adds to that outfit and just finishes it off really nicely this outfit is pretty much perfect for anything and everything during the colder seasons getting a coffee grabbing lunch going to dinner meeting up with a friend I love how you could take this outfit from day to night and depending on what you guys have in your closet I'm pretty sure that you guys could recreate this with the pieces that you already have and the coat I gotta say it again from Urban Revival is definitely one of my favorites The next styling and outfit recipe I want to mention is a knit sweater, basic tee underneath, loose trousers, a nice mock neck style leather shoe or loafer, and a bag and of course a hat. This outfit right here is primarily highlighting this really nice chunky knit from Urban Revival as well as the loose fitting trousers which is also from them as well. Kind of diving into the knit, this is another outfit that is perfect for the fall and winter kind of seasons. Primarily for fall, if it is a little bit colder where you live, of course just throw on a coat over this and you'll be good to go. I love the kind of elevated yet casual look and feel of this particular outfit. I love how the knit is this really nice chunky cozy sort of vibe with the color the nice kind of heart embellishment on the chest and i love that nice kind of pop of white with a basic tee popping out underneath and then in terms of a more tailored yet still casual and laid back feel i love these loose fitting trousers from urban revival i could see myself wearing this outfit to pretty much anything that's a little bit more on the casual side but i still want to come through with a refined look so maybe an early morning meeting a link over some coffee a breakfast or a brunch of some sort in terms of the finishing pieces i just have this really nice pair of leather mock toe style shoes hat is black of course as well as this nice designer bag from prada I love kind of mixing more high-end pieces such as this Prada bag with more affordable pieces like the Urban Revival things that you're seeing like the sweater. This knit from Urban Revival is 10 out of 10 and they have a bunch of similar and other amazing options when it comes to knits as well. So I'm really excited to kind of see what they have in the following weeks to come. 
diving into some more warmer options let's talk about this next outfit recipe consisting of a button up shirt a tank top underneath flowy trousers sneakers a hat and a bag this outfit right here is definitely one of my favorites so the shirt is from urban revival i love the really nice thick material but still lightweight at the same time i love how it fits nice and oversized and more laid back this shirt right here is a 10 out of 10 shirt for me and this is definitely kind of my go-to style of shirts when it is a bit warmer tucked into these really nice flowy textured trousers which is also from urban revival the finishing pieces let's talk about these really nice sneakers for that nice little pop of visual interest the hat as well of course ald new era vibes you already know what it is and because i would wear this outfit for something that i'm a bit more on the go for a nice kind of carry-all pouch that houses all of my essentials is definitely a go-to for me this outfit is of course a bit more laid back with the kind of spring and summer in mind and so feel free to add or take away whatever you want when it comes to this outfit right here i could see myself wearing this to a lunch a rooftop barbecue a rooftop sort of party a family barbecue a sunday gathering all of those sort of things in mind something that's a bit more casual but i still want to come through with the dressy vibes but i don't want to be over the top Last but not least, let's talk about an outfit recipe that I would wear on the more warmer days out of the year, consisting of a oversized button-up shirt, loose fitting shorts sneakers a hat and of course a bag to finish it off the key takeaway of this outfit right here is of course when it comes to styling shorts which these are from urban revival i love the fit the quality of the denim is really nice and just the overall sort of aesthetic as well as the price point was really good in my opinion when it comes to styling shorts you guys already know what it is i'm personally not the biggest fan primarily because I am a little insecure when it comes to my legs. I just feel like, I don't know, there's, there's just something about it. You know, we can talk about that in a different video, but when it comes to styling shorts for me personally, I always like to have just a really pair of simple yet high quality shorts, just like this one from Urban Revival. And then I like to build my whole entire outfit around that with more key and more star pieces, such as this Prada shirt, which offers that similar loose fitting oversized sort of vibe from the shorts. So it kind of looks like a matching set without it being a matching set nice pair of sneakers that's a little bit more visually interesting kind of bringing that tone from the shirt back to the bottom and then to kind of sandwich all the colors i just finished it off with a black hat and then to round out the whole outfit and in a way because like i said i am pretty insecure about my legs to kind of take away from my legs and just kind of highlight another piece this tote bag that is actually a sample with article and goods that i made if you don't know i created my own tote bag with them recently it sold out and so this one is just a sample it's not going to be released but i definitely Definitely wanted to show you guys how I use certain pieces to still style shorts because obviously we got to do what we got to do during the warmer seasons but in a way distract from things that I'm a little bit more insecure about I could definitely see myself wearing this when I'm running errands in the morning and I said I'll run to the coffee shop maybe getting some work done taking a morning meeting during the summertime and then of course if I wanted to lose the dressy elements I would just leave the bag at home maybe throw on a pair of shades lose the hat and kind of do my hair All right, you guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope you folks enjoyed it and you took away some inspo when putting together your own outfits. These outfit combinations can easily be recreated with the pieces that you guys might already have. And I truly believe that these styling examples will have you looking and feeling your best for years to come. Thank you again for watching. Links to everything will be down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. This is a chicken beef production.